What's up guys, this is the Roseman and I am back to bring the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So to run off of the last time, we had an absolutely giant battle against the Russians and now we're going to finally destroy the faction for good. We have pushed them all the way back up towards, I think that's meant to be the Urals, I think that's the Urals. We've pushed them right far into deep and deep inside Russia and this is all they have left remaining, except for some wandering stacks. So, without further ado. Let's crack on. So this way the um, end turn count would be just me and the Marathi Confederacy. Everyone else. Part of the US Empire. And then we should have lots and lots and lots of armies speeding their way towards the Indian frontier. When the, swan, when the sword is once... Right, so... Oh, this is a brilliant position for artillery. Yeah, I've got another set of guns. Let's deploy a set of guns up here. Oh, damn. I mean, this is really quite funky terrain. I mean, I might put them here. Okie dokie, so let's split my infantry into two wings. One got the left, one got the right. So let's pick... These guys got on the left. These guys go up the right. How it says probably stay on the right for now. And then they will advance up with my general. So let's deploy the lines properly. I see the enemy cavalry coming in. them more like this. Oh. They are dragoons. Well, that's... Ah, so we have turned on realistic battle sounds. So the muskets and stuff should be a bit different. They do sound pretty good, actually. Do I deploy my guards into combat? I deploy them. I definitely deploy them in against the against the regular dragoons. Okay, you guys, halt, unlimber, get that quick climb shot going off. Then let's get my light infantry. Not in the combat, but you know. You form square on this flank. You guys push up rapidly. A couple of regiments of foot. And these guys need to effectively hold the line. So these regiment of dragoons have broken our square. But they are getting absolutely slaughtered. Ok, 
Let's redeploy our line. Quick line was dropped in and killed a whole bunch of troops. Okay, this guard unit actually come inside the town. Let's not get these guys to form square. Let's get these guys to run. Run towards this square. That is leaving my howitzers exposed somewhat. But I think they will chase my infantry into this new square. Which, in the end, will be the better for us all. Although we are shooting into the combat. Two units of line to square off against the militia. Okay, I need to get I need to get my howitzers picking at other other targets. And these guys can get out of square. We can form a proper line. Good, so the right flank's pretty secure. Let's get you up on this hill. Let's get you around to here. I mean, I was pretty done to have these sounds turned off because these are wicked. I'm gonna, make, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be quiet and just listen. Yeah, they're pretty badass. I've not been targeting my howitzers at all. Although, even though they've been on fire at will, I suspect they've not actually been doing that much firing. There you go. Now this regiment will be what causes lots of these to break. So the general's bodyguard's still on the flank. Enemy dragoons shooting into the rear. Go, go, gadget general, but don't pay any specific attention to them. Let's advance these guys up. Let's curl these guys around the flank. Hit, the, hit them with my general. run these guys up so they can fire into the rank of this regiment of foot. I know he's in difficulty. I've sent him to charge some con some uh, dragoons and they seem to love it. He should be fine but if he dies, he does. There we go. Oh. Firing in the mortars. That's fair enough. Is there like a hill in the way? There's a bit of a hill firing across this direction. And these guys should be doing a hell of a lot of damage. Ooh, if my, if my howitzers can take care of them, that would be brilliant. against them. Whoops, they've broken. Let's push these guys up so there's less of a problem with hills. I mean, you might need to be more obliquely here. To fire into the 15th Regiment of Foot. Good stuff. Oh, wow. We 
you guys fill in the gap. You guys go here. I don't like all this friendly fire that's going on with the with how. Oh no, it's the mortars, isn't it? It's not friendly fire. It's explicitly not friendly fire. Okay, I might just turn all my howitzers off, firing completely. God, it's the general's bodyguard. Even though there's any light infantry, just charge in. It's general's bodyguard. If you do enough damage to them, they, you can just start pulling off, pulling them off their horses. These guys have held up rather well. The 15th regiment of foot. Pretty, pretty terrible firing position. Can you occupy this town hall? God, point blank range. Lots of problems with these guys misfiring. Look how many of the rear rank aren't even reloading. These guys chase after the chase after the artillery. It goes enemy general. The guards look splendid with all their white trim. Taking the town hall. So these guys will take pot shots as they retreat. But this is the end for the mighty Russian, for the mighty Russian faction. Good job these guys aren't coming back, otherwise they could route, they could just go and take out some more artillery. Oh yeah, some friendly fire please. Russian friendly fire is good. There you go. They've stormed and hit the mortar battery. Oh, he got one. Let's see if he lasts, though. Oh, God, he got two. No. Got him. There we go. In the battle there. Heroic victory for our forces. Russia no longer has a place in the world. Sorry, Russia. Gotcha. Good, so these guys can all replenish the army. Kazan, you can all replenish everyone. If you're down south, they're just going to walk to the Middle East. Everyone else is being shipped in. Make ready. So, ready and waiting orders. Okay, you're in good condition, so you can move up to the port, ready to move. Everyone else here can that was involved in the great battle yes. can they can wait a bit and replenish. Everything's been replenished. Good, 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 good. I mean, you're no good up there anymore, General. building so you could probably get you're gonna get some cavalry I think regiment regiment of horse is better than provincial cav yeah all of their stats are better I mean the more ex the 10 10 gold more expensive per turn but their morale is higher defense is higher charge bonus is higher and their attack is higher so for not much money and they they only cost 20 26 more to recruit Good, so let's hop down to India. So this is a major concern. I actually need to destroy the modern university. But Satara um, has a very weak garrison and the great fortress behind it doesn't have doesn't have a lot going for it either. 
So this is where I do start to need to get my armies to travel or to deploy from Europe. And Bengal's looking a bit dodgy. Your humble servant. I think I'd rather have to take this fort army out Ready. to replenish Ready. and get Norbert Jackson back in there because most of his infantry is actually in good condition. Forward. Good than up here. Your humble to be honest, I may just need to jump on them and then just start to. I need to start knocking these guys back on the front. Yes. So I may take. I think a large mortar. But with a short range. I have to start picking these, picking these apart because it's starting to cause problems. So let's pick the army in this artillery fort and start pushing them up to here. There are currently no troops stationed at this fort. As things stand, I'll take uh, Gifford, Bloodnock, and let's attack the seminary. And let's get ready to push these guys out of our territory. We need to, we need to start doing some quite significant the front forward quite aggressively in a short space of time. So that'll be pretty useful for. And this is why this is why we will be super pleased or super happy. Lords, you want that quick climb. This is a rather nice little position actually. Okay, let's line the guns up here. This is a good spot because it can't be charged. I might deploy deploy some guns up on this little rise. In the centre I'm gonna have the Maryland and the thirty and the thirty Maryland and the 33rd foot. Oh, probably one more. Let's get 134th that are very highly experienced. They can well, actually. Do I have these guys sat back in here just in case they fancy pouring in? Then actually put a bunch of line infantry units on the front like this. Then we'll move to a, then we'll move to the to the weaker front. Each side gets some cavalry. Each side gets how it's a come on. I mean it's Be a bit forward, so that might be a bit better. But might they still get shot by their own guns? Might have to be down here. Then the ninth, like so. General in the centre. Oh, good! They're already firing. So it's going to be against the Bajir Lancers. Ooh. Okay, immediately charging in. Not charging, actually. Let's get our... Quick climb arrows are specifically targeting infantry units. Roger your lances on the right on the flank. All of these guys form a square. They are gonna have a torrid time. Let's retarget. Make sure all my target are targeted differently. You're not even firing quick climb. Left hand guns concentrate on pounding their formation. Yeah, well that's too late to form the square.
cavalry forms square. Get my cavalry back. I can see the cavalry on the flank. Come on, let's just scoot you around. Okay, these guys start to pound. Pound the Pindari horsemen. I mean, they're charging one of my own squares. This guy's firing shrapnel shot. Okay, let's push up. One unit of line in that direction, a unit of line in this. Ooh. Unit of line in that direction. You guys stay where you are for now. There's a lot of guards dead. Good, lots of shrapnel shot. Good shrapnel shots come in on this flank. To be honest, I'm actually run these guys up and fill in the fill in some space up here. Then I may as well start curving these guys in. Arm peasantry. Arm peasantry. Arm peasantry. Peasantry. Yeah, I'll just keep attacking the armed peasantry then. So you guys are all doing shrapnel shot into this unit of armed peasantry this time. Yeah, they're going to rout in short order. Charge my household cavalry into the dervishes. Might be able to make them rout. Alright, good job we got our advanced artillery. So you aim for this unit of peasantry in the rear, you aim for There you go. Reload. They've lost 100 men. Expats are going to get charged, but... One more volley, then go in. So this flank has fallen. Pull my household cavalry back. They're officially too close now for... for uh, shrapnel shot. Okay, so this is where the bulk of their forces want to go. Let's get them in position. Charge my household cavalry in. Let's get all my artillery focusing on this unit of peasantry. So this is enough to break them. Good. then immediately let's reorientate a lot of our forces over on this flank. Let's limber up my guns. So let's get back to this front. Let's 
push it out. Okay, let's set, let's get our, our general to do some stuff. Let's get our far artillery here, because it's a good field of fire. Let's move our howitzers right up. Let's pull these guys back. Let's limber up this set of artillery. Let's... Well, I mean, I might even need to stretch you guys out just a little bit more. And then shrink the guards a little bit. Charge my cavalry in. Get everyone up in their face. Okay, so I want to chase them down, but I also want to be careful of the of the spikes. I sent my unit of horse guards to chase down their cavalry, chase down their um, artillery. Sorry. Okay, let's get my artillery to start folks firing the general. You can start to see where the weakness is going to form. But I do want to chase down their dervishes, because they're quite a, good, a reasonable melee unit, so... If I could kill them, I'd love that. goes the general. Oh, I'll fine, go after this unit, because these guys might actually manage to run into the spikes. Okay. Mass bayonet charge. Let's commit all these forces, considering my, my land, my armies in the field are doing such a good job. And I'm not necessarily so bothered about killing armed peasantry, because armed peasantry is actually handy to have on the field. Make sure to turn guard mode off so that they will chase them down. I don't know how it's that my artillery is still shooting. So the most useful thing they can do is kill the general's bodyguard, or kill the general. Let's throw my general at this unit of our peasantry. Good, the general's gone. Go after the peasantry. Whoop. Sorry guys, sudden sneeze. Uh, so you go after go after those dervishes may as well. Well actually you might have to come back in here. I don't really want to waste my time attacking armed peasantry, but absolutely continue. Let's just play this on high speed. The idea is just to make sure my... Because the general's body... The general's already been dead, so I don't need to specifically kill the bodyguard. Don't want to chase after them. It's too dangerous. They're going to rout, so come along here. Chase after this unit of armed peasantry. Good stuff. Okay, it's not that I'm killing units that you want to spend a lot of time to kill. Um, it's just that... If you're facing the Indian factions and you've got them routing and you've got the cavalry, then 
making sure you do as much damage as possible while you've got them is very valuable. Decisive victory. So that's good. A stack of almost 6,000 destroyed to one and a half. We lost 500 men. So let's push them back. Seminary is ours. Although we're going to want to destroy it. But the principle is this army replenishes while another army moves up. And you're going to chase them down and destroy them. These guys might need to hit replenish again because they were involved. Your humble servant. Replenish Tobin Davis. The garrison at Balukistan need to stay there for now just in case this stack tries to go south. So for now it's just these three pushing along the coast. Let's fix the global trading company. Can't actually build anything there. Oh, I also remember you. Yeah, recruiting, recruiting forces in, in Persia to chase after them. Awesome. So Tobin Davis is a great general. Gifford Bloodnock is steady under fire. And Gifford Bloodnock is a confident general. He's earning his spurs. Obviously not on the level of Tobin Davis, who is going to die any day now. Um... So I don't want to do anything in India. I've organised and reshuffled everyone. Let's hit end turn. It's just the Maratha Confederacy. Hey, I got my... See, the first time ever I got... A I've conquered all of the territories in Europe. Whoa. Just give me time. Just give me time to, to build, to fortify in Satara. And holy moly, these are a lot of... This is a lot of troops. Keep raiding and attack me in penny packet formations. That's what I want to see. Don't care if they raid me in Satara, as long as they don't interfere with my destroying of a university. Oh, they've headed northwards. But that's a lot of troops going to Bengal. Doing their raiding around rioting has broken out in the gentlemen in Venice. The lower orders have become too unhappy. You must either appease the rioters by so yeah, there. See, they were happy, but now they were unhappy. Now they're happy. Let's build a happiness building. Let's give them bait to, to chase. And if they come within range, I will not try and attack them because they don't have the strength. Let's build another unit of East India Company infantry. And this great fortress army is in a better position. Natural causes, Humphrey Hutton. Oh, that's my, one of my gentlemen. Some good traits gained. Let's see this weaver's cottage. Upgrade. Oops, so let's keep upgrading. Okay. Your humble servant. Keep replenishing. And I'm probably going to have to have forward. this Bengal, just keep churning out East India Company infantry. So I'm glad they left us alone. So they've pushed north, which is bizarre, so I'm going to march Tobin Davis towards Nerun. Let's build a church school here. Let's send Gifford Bloodnock up that direction with this guy to chase after them. And then let's take Keith Keats to go and engage Jaikanth Hakani. Yes, sir. Awesome. But looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for another assault against the Maratha Confederacy. Cheers, guys.